Welcome to Chinooth & Cohen Realtors. I'm Cindy Manchester. We're visiting with Eric Doss, Director of TSAP. Stay tuned to learn more about this amazing Tulsa Charter High School. And now, here's a look at some of our area's finest homes. We're here visiting with Eric Doss, Director of TSAS. Eric, thank you so much for inviting us well, thank, over. Thank you for coming. It's fantastic. So tell our viewers exactly what TSAS stands for, and we are under the umbrella of the Tulsa Public Schools. Yes, uh, TSAS stands for the Tulsa School of Arts and Sciences, and uh, uh, we chose that name because of the liberal arts focus of our school. And what is exactly, what is a charter school? A charter school is a, uh, a school, it's a public school paid with public money uh, that's under uh, an agreement with an authorizer. In our case, our authorizer is Tulsa Public Schools. And uh, with that agreement, uh, it allows us to have a lot of autonomy, uh, releases some of the state laws on us, and uh, allows us to really be free to innovate and try something different. Well, it's, it is different, and it's so much fun. It's fun to see the creativity going on in the different uh, classrooms. Tell us how this, how did all this get started? Well, it got started in, uh, we opened in 2001, and before that, it got started with a group of teachers. There were four teachers, uh, public school teachers, that were sitting around uh, the kitchen table and talking about what would uh, a, a better type of high school look like and what can we do different from the way that they, they were currently working and so they came up with the idea and they wrote an application and, and worked very hard to uh, create this school and that's basically how we got our start now it's 11 years later. 11 years earlier I know and so what makes TSAS different from from other public traditional high schools? Yeah. Well we are different because we um, are, are smaller for begin, to begin with. We are 275 students uh, and that allows uh, the teacher to student ratio to be smaller. The teachers are more creative uh, to work with those students one on one, get to learn and have a little relationship. We also offer very creative classes and try to give all of our students the opportunity to do things that um, they may not have done before in that creative vein. And that doesn't involve just the arts, which we have a, quite a bit of arts classes, but we also, that means being creative in the sciences and being creative in math as well. And so, uh, really trying to find our students what they're interested in and what really works best for them. And bring out the creativity in each student, as you said. Yeah, bring out the creativity, but also um, we have a, a pretty rigorous academic um, uh, schedule. Our students have to take 26 credits to graduate instead of just the normal 23. They have to take two years of a foreign language. Um, and, and every single student, our goal is that every single student, when they leave here, will be ready to go to college. And we think we accomplished that goal pretty well. Yes, I think so too. And I've been to some of the plays that the kids have put mm -hmm. on, and you have some events coming up. Tell us what some of the events are. Well, our big event is uh, Serenade Night, which is our biggest fundraiser of the year, and it basically helps to fund our fine arts department. Uh, and that's actually coming on tomorrow. Uh, and that is uh, going to be a performance from the jazz groups, the orchestra, our men's a cappella choir, uh, all of the uh, drama groups, and in uh, our musical theater, everybody. Um, and including, then it has a silent auction and you can buy pieces of student artwork. So it's a, it's a really neat event. Great, great. Well, we'll keep a lookout to see what events are going on. And thanks again for having us over. It's, it's just really fun and it's invigorating to be here. <laughs> Thank you very much. We're glad to have you. Sure. So. Thanks. Stay tuned. We have more beautiful homes for you to see.